there are more than 100 billion galaxies in the universe. And these are the ones we know about, and it can be seen in the observable universe. Since the Big Bang, which was more than 13 billion years ago, these galaxies are being born and dying constantly. They separate from each other, they collide with each other, they get bigger, smaller, and they're always changing. There are three types of galaxies. First, we have the dwarf galaxies. Then, we have the medium galaxies. And in the end, we have the giant galaxies. And most of those are the oldest galaxies in the universe. A dwarf galaxy has a diameter of 200 light years. And in the universe, 200 light years is pretty much nothing. These dwarf galaxies have around 100 million stars in them, and they're usually around a bigger galaxy. After dwarf galaxies, we have the medium galaxies, and one of those is the Milky Way galaxy, which is the one we're located in. But a medium galaxy like the Milky Way is much bigger than a dwarf galaxy. Our galaxy has a diameter of 100,000 light years, and it has more than 200 billion stars in it, stars like our own sun. You guys remember, a dwarf galaxy was only 200 light years across, but the Milky Way is 100,000 light years across. But let's get to the biggest galaxies. Most giant galaxies are elliptical galaxies. These giant galaxies are the ones that formed after the Big Bang, and they are the oldest galaxies in the universe. The number of stars in these galaxies can start as low as 1 trillion stars. Do you know what trillion means? Let me explain it this way. If you want to count from 1 to 1 million, it's gonna take you 11 and a half days. But if you want to count from 1 to 1 billion, it's gonna take you more than 31 years to count that much. Hold on, we're not finished yet. We still have to count to 1 trillion. In this case, we're gonna have to count for 31,688 years. There is this many stars in a giant galaxy. These galaxies are so huge, the human brain can't even process it. We can't even imagine it. So this is a giant galaxy, but which one is the biggest galaxy? The answer is this one, IC 1101. The biggest galaxy in the universe is 1 billion light years away from us. Can you believe it? This is the real picture, and it was taken with the Hubble Space Telescope. It looks like it's one star, but it's so huge and it has so many stars that it shows itself as one star. The diameter of this galaxy is 6 million light years across. You guys must remember, but the Milky Way was 100,000 light years across. So IC 1101 is 60 times bigger than the Milky Way. There are more than 100 trillion stars in this galaxy. You guys saw how long it takes to count to 1 trillion. Multiply that by 100 and this is the amount of stars in this galaxy. The small one is the Milky Way galaxy. The next one is the Andromeda galaxy. The third one is the Messier 87 and that itself is a giant. But this is IC 1101. You might ask, why is this galaxy so ginormous? 
The reason is that it has unlimited power. In its whole lifetime, it ate every galaxy that came in its way, and it added it to its own collection. It ate so many galaxies that it became 6 million light years across. But the speed of expansion in this galaxy has slowed down by a lot because most of the stars in IC 1101 are extremely old and the lack of space dust and gas doesn't allow it to create more stars. When you look at IC 1101 through a telescope, you see it with a yellow and red color. And a galaxy's color tells a lot about it. Galaxies with a blue color are young and have a lot of energy. But when you see a galaxy that has a yellow or red color, you're looking at an old galaxy. But let's go inside this thing and see what we can find out. In the center of this galaxy, like any other galaxy, it has a supermassive black hole. Astronomers believe that the size of a galaxy relates to the size of its supermassive black hole in the center. So if this theory is right, the black hole in the center of IC 1101 is the biggest black hole in the universe. The pictures you see here that were captured by Hubble shows 1 billion years ago. And these pictures show us that the stars in this galaxy are very old and dying. If no new galaxies join this giant, IC 1101 is going to get darker and darker. And the black hole in the center of it is going to get stronger and stronger. And it will be the most powerful thing in the universe. You could say the Milky Way galaxy is in its path to be like IC 1101. Milky Way is kind of young and it will collide with the Andromeda galaxy. And in billions of years, it will get bigger and bigger. And just like IC 1101, it will get older and older. But right now, the Milky Way is a young galaxy. Andromeda and Milky Way are getting closer and closer every day. But these distances are so far that in our lifetime, it doesn't even move for us. If you want the Milky Way and Andromeda to fully collide with each other, it will take 6 billion years. The Milky Way galaxy that looks so small here is a giant itself. Our own sun can't even be seen in this galaxy. Look how small we are. 